While the world's attention is focused on Vladimir Putin and his next moves in Ukraine, North Korea's Kim Jong-un is declaring full speed ahead for his nuclear program. And our next guest says that is no coincidence. Joining us now is the author of this piece, CNN political analyst and Washington Post columnist Josh Rogan. So Josh, tell us how North Korea's strategy has changed since Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine. Right, Brianna. Well, uh, Kim Jong-un, ever since Putin attacked Ukraine, uh, has become more belligerent, more aggressive, and has been mimicking Putin's playbook in two important ways. Uh, first of all, he's reorienting his forces for to prepare for the, the capability to launch an offensive attack against South Korea. Uh, he's been testing more missiles, more, more dangerous missiles, missiles that can carry nuclear warheads. And at the same time, him and his sister, who's also his propaganda chief, have been talking about nuclear attack in a way that's different than before, mimicking Putin's aggressive brinksmanship. And what this means for a lot of people in East Asia is that Kim is looking at Putin as his teacher and uh, learning and taking notes from the Ukraine war. And not that he's going to attack South Korea tomorrow, but that the risk is increasing because he sees that when megalomaniac totalitarian dictators attack their democratic neighbors, sometimes they can get something out of it. And so he's giving himself the chance to do that. So President Biden is heading to Asia, to Japan and Korea uh, next month. What can he do? about this right well you know officials in south korea and japan and all over east asia are sounding the alarm both in public and private john and they're saying to the united states listen let's not repeat the same mistakes we made with putin let's not wait until after the the attack starts to start bolstering our defenses let's not pretend that this uh megalomaniac totalitarian dictator is deterred when he might not be so uh, we don't know exactly what the Biden administration is preparing for Joe Biden's trip to Korea and Japan uh, next month. Uh, but let's hope he's got something up his sleeve. And that could be a number of things. It could be more weapons. It could be a stronger commitment to a, an alliance, not exactly NATO, but something less NATO. There's a need in Asia for uh, upping the deterrence on Kim Jong-un to meet the rising threat. Josh, thank you so much for that insight. It's a really fascinating column that you've written, and we appreciate you being with us to talk about it. How the Pentagon kept Defense Secretary